Hello, sacred souls. It's Susanna from Alemanic Shaman. What I have here for us tonight is strengthening our third eye to see or know about any possible attempts to uh, harm us, to stop us or slow us down in our ascension, to... Um, I'm trying to avoid saying attack, but <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm trying to express here to hinder us in our progress. Let's put it that way. So what happened today is that when I was driving three times and each time with more intensity, there was a car pulling out off a side street as I was passing them and they actually came really close and I thought oh my gosh they're gonna like drive into me almost right and it was only the third time when that happened that it hit me that that's a sign that um, those dark ones are trying to blindside us like they they're they were coming almost like from the blind side, right? Um, and that's also like in combination with like since yesterday, I've had a stiff neck, like right at the top of the neck where like the area where you turn, right? So that you can see the sides better. And um, I felt right away that it had to do with, like, those dark ones throwing stuff at us, or at me in this case, um, to try to prevent us from seeing all sides. And from, like, in combination with, like, what was happening today, from seeing our blind spot. So that... Um, you know, we're not as safe moving ahead and stuff can come at us without us realizing, right? So that seems to be their current strategy. And um, so the first time a car pulled out off a side street on the right side as I was passing, right? And I thought, geez, he's coming pretty close. The second time from the left street and he literally, um, wait a minute, let me see, because I'm standing behind the tripod here. Um, so he, I was driving here, let's say, and he was pulling out as I was driving, like really close, let's say almost this close. And then had to like basically wait until I passed him and then he could go behind me. And out of, you know, instinct, I honked at him because I was like, holy smokes, did this guy actually see me? Like, what's going on, right? And then he started tailgating me. And what I generally do when someone tailgates me, I step on the brake so that they back off. Well, he backed off for a m quick moment and then he started speeding up to pass me. And funny enough, this was pretty much in front of police because there was um, a street festival going on. Wait, or was it a construction site? <laughs> that part? I... No, I think there was. Anyhow, there was police on the side, but they were kind of busy, right? So the guy just completely ignored that and tried to pass me. But in the meantime... I was speeding up again for two reasons. One, I knew that it was those energies that um, we just got rid of yesterday, or I got rid of, um, of the the money blocking kind of energies, and um, especially those of you who have been in the ascension process for a while, you all know that when we get rid of some of those energies they're gonna try to reconnect to us and come back in again for a while right so that's what was happening so I was aware of that 
and made sure that he could not just pass me and you know I would basically indirectly allowing it so therefore indirectly giving permission in the weird dark sense right like um, the dark logic is sometimes a little weird um, so I started speeding up and he couldn't and had to go behind me right um, but there was a lot of aggression right so yeah and then he just turned at some point and if not I would have just to make sure to get rid of him um, but then there was a third one a little bit later and he came out of a side street on the right side so I was here and he came and there were there were two lanes going straight and two lanes coming the other way and then there was a strip in the middle or like a lane in the middle for like left turning traffic from both directions um, so I was in the left of the two lanes but he came shooting out of the side street really fast without slowing down or stopping and whipped around into partially into my lane so not just into the right lane but partially into mine and I moved over there was oh wait a minute there was no middle lane for turning at that point it came later um, but there was no traffic coming towards us so I just moved a bit over it so that he could turn but I definitely honked and what really struck me was the way that guy looked at me was like he was out of it like he was not quite there like someone else was driving his body that was driving the car in a sense you know like spirit possessed um, and that's when it really hit me and I was like oh my gosh that is definitely those dark energies trying to come back in again and um, as I mentioned before usually like when you honk obviously you're gonna avoid an accident right but um, honking basically lets them know hey I'm not okay with it so in other words you're not giving consent to their forceful entry right um, so that's when I realized it's like they are still trying to come back in because the the money blocking energies are basically providing them with abundance right wow and that actually just came to me now because I was so focused on like the third eye because I felt like we need to have additional extrasensory help to be fully aware of and see what's coming towards us before it happens so that we can be prepared and and respond actually not respond we can act accordingly in advance right so that none of that stuff can actually get to us so let me just adjust this here for a moment it slowly started dropping down okay so um that's basically the topic for today I'll see I have a feeling that I might be guided to add more stuff in the ceremony once I call in the spirit guides but for now let's focus on that and it looks like there's a fruit fly right on the tray with the candle so that's interesting too all right so let's smudge and get this started Oh, yes. Hmm. This is a good time to bring this in. So for those of you who have not been following me for a long time, I think this was um, a year ago or so. Or I might have mentioned it a little bit after that, but um, I mentioned it about a year ago, but I think the attack might have been a year and a half ago at this point anyhow it it doesn't matter exactly when um I had a dark one try to invade me and I had received 
warning in a dream the night before that I had pissed off, excuse my language, the wrong person, but meaning the wrong dark spirit. And they would want me dead now. And I would have 24 hours left. So I actually ended up spending the day, you know, trying to prepare myself mentally and emotionally for a psychic attack, but I didn't know what was going to happen. And I found this, actually a previous one that ended up breaking afterwards, but um, a rainbow crystal wand. I found my old one in a box that I hadn't unpacked yet. And I was like moving stuff around that day and I knew it was important. So I ended up going to bed with it holding it in my right hand like this and a dark as I was in that stage of falling asleep a dark entity came and sat on my chest trying to enter me and it happened so fast that it was already kind of past that point and I knew I couldn't step outwards the way that I was holding it and instinctively like I had never done that before had never heard of it before I just flipped it around and stabbed inwards towards my chest and I didn't have to say or do or wish for or ask for anything else no words just this action I stabbed inwards and poof it was gone and done so this is an amazing tool to have I'm not sure if other crystals would work the same way. I can just tell you that in my case, it was a rainbow fluorite crystal wand like this one. And as I said, like after the attack, um, within a week or two after that, I think it ended up breaking in half. So there were still other attempts, but none of them succeeded. Right. So. Anyway, this was the important thing that I needed to tell you. So, let's get back to the smudging. <laughs> so, if you don't have one and you feel that you might be expecting an attack, if you have any other kind of crystal, I think it should work as well. So, for example, um, I have... Sorry, everything's dusty because I did some woodworking in my apartment the other day. Sorry. Um, I'm sure something like this would work too. I mean, anything or even a pendant that is crystal and it's like elongated. Anything elongated and some form of clear crystal, I feel. I think the rainbow fluoride is really good because it has like all the different colors as well so it's like all the colors are represented in a sense or most of them but I feel strongly that a clear crystal would probably do the same trick if you feel you have enough time and you would like to have one of these then please do get one if not, then, you know, in whichever way you protect yourself and whatever works for you, that's great. I mean, do all the other protective stuff that you do, but I'm just sharing with you what happened and what worked for me when that happened, right? Okay, um, I did have another spirit invasion a little a few weeks I think after that one happened and it was two spirits and in the dream it was two burglars that got into the house and they were already inside and they were holding me so that I could physically not move anymore so I just started screaming but not in a scared way but more in a how dare you get the f out kind of type scream like like a war scream almost right like a war cry 
And that's what made them leave. And again, it's like I couldn't actually move or do anything physically, not even in the dream. But that scream of like, get the F out was enough to also do the same thing and they were gone, right? So I think a lot of it has to do with the intention of not accepting them, not allowing any kind of invasion and defending your space. Okay, enough. <laughs> Lots so much. All right. Please cleanse, clear, and renew all of our energies. And reconnect us to our own divinity, to the divine power within us that is also all around us and that helps us be in oneness with all of creation. And through that, let us transmute anything dark and low vibrational and unhealed that is still within us and that we may have absorbed from others. Thank you, danke schön, all my relations. <sighs> ah, yes, there was something else that stood out to me earlier. Um, I suddenly got this knowing of how, in my case, for example, whenever I start something new, I usually go in very excited and you know, sort of the the typical um, earth angel light worker positivity kind of energy of like, this is going to be exciting, it's going to be great and wonderful and so on, right? And after a while, the dark thoughts start creeping in and the negativity. And what I realized is that's the programming that, like in my case, I've absorbed since childhood. And I'm pretty sure it's the same or similar for most of you, if not all. So even if we came into this lifetime with a lot of light and positivity, it can take over more and more. But your true nature is your initial reaction to something and your initial excitement about something right so we're gonna just chip away at this dark and negative stuff that has been absorbed for so many years that we have integrated into our system on various different levels that will probably take a while. Like I'm not trying to speak long time into existence here. I wish I could just snap my fingers and it would be gone. But in my case, it's not working this way. If it can work super fast for you, that's totally amazing and awesome. Um, I know that for each person, there's sort of this turnaround moment and poof, that's when things fully start changing, right? So this could take longer or be faster depending on the person and whatever's going on, right? Okay, but now I'm going to call in the spirit guides. Thanks for bearing with me. Dear Creator, Higher Power, Source and Soul Energy, our Higher Selves, our Higher Spirit Guides of the Light, our Ancestors that are in the Light, Dear Mother Earth, Powers of all four directions, powers of the east, powers of the south, powers of the west, powers of the north, powers of all four elements, air, earth, fire, and water, and all other benevolent powers, forces, spirits, and beings of the universe that are of the light, please join the ceremony and assist the healings and prayers with and protection with all of your powers. Thank you. Please close the circle of protection around us. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you for all the help, assistance, and protection that you've been giving us, for all the guidance. We ask 
for extremely strong guidance and protection at this time for any and all of those attempts from the dark to enter or re-enter our energy field, our body, mind, spirit, soul, energy field that try to come in energetically, karmically, in whatever aspect and capacity they can. We ask for foresight, represented by this um, Halloween eyeball thing representing our third eye. Give us the, the third eye vision, the inner knowing, the gut feeling, dreams, and whatever guidance each of us um, usually receive or work with or are receptive to the most. Show us and let us know in so many different ways, so clearly and abundantly, when something dark wants to come in way ahead of time so that we can be well prepared and please guide us very, very strongly as to all the steps and all the things that we need to do and all the steps we need to take for our protection, guide us to the right resources and help us find the right items if there are any and anything else. Help us create the perfect protective bubble around us to keep us fully safe, shielded and protected with your help as well as whatever we can do at our end to intensify and strengthen our protection. And so it is. Thank you. Dankeschön. All my relations. And let whatever darkness is still within us that can allow these dark ones to re-enter, let it be pulled out of us and be pierced by the light. Ah, that's what it was. Thank you. Let it be pierced by the light and transmuted into pure divine love light energy and returned to source for reintegration. Thank you. Dankeschön, all my relations. Let our inner hero be awakened and let us all get in touch with our inner light warrior to give us the strength and courage to fend off any of those dark attempts to invade our space and to reconnect to us in whatever way, shape, or form. Let us be our own heroes. 
we no longer wait for help from the outside because we are now in our own power. We take our power back. We take our energy back. We take our blessings back. We take our abundance back. We take everything back that these dark ones have kept from us by blocking us, by making us believe that we're less than, by keeping us down and away from the knowledge that we're all divine. We all have the, di the divinity, the divine energies and power within us. We can all heal ourselves and we do not need others for that. If you feel comfortable, please repeat after me. I am fully and completely in my power. I am divine and I am fully and completely safe, shielded and protected by the divine love and light within me that is burning away and transmuting everything that isn't of the divine. I am now transmuting all fear and anxiety and insecurity, pain and suffering and I feel the inner flame within me, the flame of divinity, the light of the Christ Consciousness, the Buddha Consciousness, that Ascended Master Consciousness. I feel that flame growing inside of me from my core. It spreads to every part of my body, mind, spirit, soul and energy field. And it expands outwards. as far as my arms can stretch and forms a protective shield in the shape of a bubble all around me. I am safe. I am loved. I am divine. And so it is. Thank you. Danke schön, all my relations. Sending you all so much love and light. We're all such divine beings. And we are returning to that inner knowing. We know that we're divine. We no longer allow anyone else or ourselves to make us small. 
we are divine and so it is if you'd like to stay in these energies a bit longer please pause the video and otherwise let the ceremony now be finished Please open the circle of protection around us, but keep us strongly safe, shielded, and protected, and accept our love, thanks, gratitude, and blessings. Thank you. Dankeschön, all my relations. All our relations. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, for being a part of the ceremony, and for being on your own path of healing and ascension. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I'm also sending you tons of love, light and blessings. Be well until next time and I wish you great abundance. Bye.